Hello everybody, how are we doing? And welcome back to CES 2020. We're here at the Lee and Lee booth looking at some pretty impressive PC cases, to be honest. We've got a special edition of, I think it's the O11D Dynamic, the full-sized one. But what's brand new is a mini -er version. And I say mini, -er, it's called the Mini, but it's really clever because on the face of it, I would look at this and say, this is clearly a mini ITX or a micro ATX case, but actually it supports all three. So what we've got here is a demonstration with a mini ITX motherboard all the way up to a full size ATX. And obviously this is gonna change depending on what you put inside it. If you're going for a mini ITX motherboard, then you can fit a radiator across all of the sides. So you could have one at the top. Uh, along the side and then right at the bottom for maximum airflow. Or if you're after something a bit more traditional, you can go with a full-size ATX motherboard. You do lose some radiator capacity. I think it's just at the top where you have to have standard fans, but you can still have a radiator at the bottom and on the side, which for most people, I think that's all you ever really going to want to have anyway. But it looks incredible. And the thing that actually is arguably the most impressive bit is that all of this is available for around about 90 to 100 dollars it's still in the last bit of being confirmed but 90 or 100 dollars for all of this will give you not only a fantastic looking enclosure but one that also has like a led readout on the front as well that can give you temperature information and stuff like that really really neat but if you're after something a little bit bigger maybe a bit more traditional then we have to come over to this other table where we've got more cases. And it seems that this year, mesh is becoming a trend. So we now have the Landcool 2, but in a mesh variant. And the RGB is sadly gone along the front, but now we have mesh. And they've told me that they've gone through loads of different iterations to sort of find the right balance between a better looking panel with sound isolation and things like that, but also one that has better temperatures and has better airflow as a result of the mesh. So I'm really interested to see what you guys think. If you're buying a new gaming PC or building a new one, would you go for more of a better airflow mesh system or would you prefer something that has the more traditional sort of solid panel? But it's not only the Landcall 2 that actually continues this trend of offering mesh, as we now have the Landcall 315, but you actually get a solid glass panel included in the box as standard. But what's really clever is that you also get a mesh panel included in the box as well. And the thing that is also really, really smart about all of this is that you can get it for $80. $80 gets you two different panels included in the box, all of these different airflow options, tempered glass on the sides, and just an all round cracking looking case. It is really, really impressive. The only thing I'm not sure about at the moment is that there is a USB-C cutout located on the top, but as it's a prototype, I'm not sure whether this is actually going to make it into the final version. I don't know. Is USB-C important? I think it is, but maybe it's not worth the extra price premium. If you're thinking that there's not that much RGB here though, then let me take you to a place that I'm now calling RGB Corner. Because we have RGB cables and these are actually revised versions i haven't really picked up on them before but these are not brand new but this reversed or revised version is and it almost freaks me out a little bit i've never really thought the power cables need rgb but i guess some people do think that and it's nice to have the options it's definitely something i'm really interested to actually build with i think that's when i'll be able to draw up my firm conclusion on whether this will look great in a system or whether it's going to be a little bit over the top and too much but something i think is really really cool are these uni fans and they look pretty standard at the moment but you may notice that there's only two cables dangling from the bottom and the reason for this is that you can actually detach them without any cables at all you literally just whack them together so you have pins located on the sides of each fan and then one connector that you'll use on the bottom one and then they all just literally click together it's really smart really easy and the fact that I can do this with one hand, I'm really impressed with that. I'm gonna go home and give myself a gold star. You don't need to use as many screws if you're using like a triple radiator. You could just literally bash four in there, pretty much job done. I'm always interested to hear what you guys have to say. What's your favorite thing here? Are you an RGB cable comb sort of person? Or are you like myself and really interested in that LAN call mini case? Or it's not called that, is it? It's the O11D mini. There you go, I can remember stuff. Don't you forget to actually hit the subscribe button, like the video if you've enjoyed it, check out all of the other CES coverage, and I will see you in the next video.